guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday, November 15th, 2023, and I am coming on here with the final wings video, not only for October, but for 2023. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot. Check out my yarn yakin videos and I make stitch markers. So go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. If you could favorite the shop and favor a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot and I do appreciate it. So for this year in the past few years, you guys have helped me with a domestic violence organization that is based here in the Chicago area called Wings. And my contact at Wings had requested uh, for the whole year very specific items for each month that um, would be helpful for her to have that were handmade. Um, so the list, if you if you actually want to know what was on that list, it is a pinned announcement in the Facebook group. And you can also look at some of the earlier Wings videos, I think from like March, April, May, and it'll have the whole list in there. Um, but we are done collecting for Wings for 2023. Um, I know it is the middle of November, but I did have some stragglers that did get delivered last weekend to Wings. And I did make videos about those... Um, donations <laughs> um, before I had to pack them up and get them in my car. So um, I did do some clips. I will insert those here. And then when we are done watching that, then I'm going to tell you who the winners are for the October thank you gifts. So for every month, we had some very fabulous people donate thank you gifts uh, as a way for us to say thank you for those who donated to Wings. So I have quite a few. I think there's like 13 or 14 winners because at the very last minute, a bunch of people wanted to donate a thank you gift. And I really do appreciate that. So I'm going to insert the clips here. I believe there were four donations that came in a little bit late. And I'll insert those clips right here. All right, guys, so this package came from Dolores from California, and I have a note in the box. It is, uh, it says, hi, Rose. Sorry for this being boring stationary. It was just a blank sheet of paper, but it's totally fine. She says, here are the receiving blankets for the Wings babies. You know we use these as burping cloths and spit-up catchers. It's a wonderful time to give when you and your sub sub, sub peeps came through again this year. Bravo, everyone. Thank you, Rose, your pal, Dolores. Dolores, thank you so much for sending all these receiving blankets for the babies at Wings. I do appreciate it. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, guys, the next box or pet, yeah, box came from Kathy. Oops, there it goes. And she is from Alabama and she did send me a card. So I'm going to read you the card. It says, hi, Rose, happy to participate in your Wings project. Thanks for all you do, Kathy from Alabama. Kathy, thank you so much. I do see that on both of these Ziploc baggies, it says cat alert. <laughs> so I'm not going to open up the packages, but you can see two lovies there on the right. And there are two baby blankets in that big Ziploc bag. I think there's two. Yes, there should just be two. So Kathy, thank you again so much. And if I didn't already explain this, I'm doing it this way because I don't have time to set up a camera and I go to Wings on Saturday morning. So I got to get these packed up and in my car. Okay, we have two more guys. Hang on. All right, you guys. So this next box, this is an odd box. This came from Carrie Penny. She is also here on YouTube known as the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And I think what happened is she had full intentions on sending this earlier in the year when we were doing makeup bags. And she moved, I don't know, she moved and um, all kinds of stuff happened. So she just sent me a box. There, Most of these are makeup bags, which is so cool. I will bring them over to Wings and see if they could use them. And then it looks like there's a couple of washcloths and soap sacks. So I will bring these over to Wings um, when I go uh, on Saturday, which is tomorrow for me, but who knows when that'll be for you. And I will see if they can use these. I think that they would be able to use these um, in like the Christmas gifts. So we'll see what they do with them. But anyway, Carrie Penny, thank you so much. I will link her channel down below in the description box. If you don't know the Happy Crafty Homemaker, you should go over there and go hang out with her. She is a very special person. Okay, let's get to the last one. 
All right, you guys. So this is the last package and the last donation that we're going to accept for uh, wings for 2023. And this package came from Melanie and she is from Pennsylvania. She is also known as the fluffy tote bag girl. I believe she is on Instagram. You can guys can go look her up. So I do have a card here and she writes, Rose, sorry, these are so late, but I wanted them to be presentable. <laughs> I was supposed to send them last year, but I was too slow crocheting. You guys, you can't, you can't be apologizing. Okay. She says, so here they are. I also included a cowl just for you so you can be warm while walking camo or just out and about. I believe you deserve reverence as well for all that you do. I felt that sending a few extra blankets would not hurt because people are not going to stop having babies. <laughs> Somebody needs them. Keep on being amazing. The world needs more people like you. Stay beautiful. Mazel tov and namaste from Melanie, also known as the fluffy tote bag girl. So she did send three which is totally fine uh the limit was two but look at the fringe on that and they're made with blanket yarn you guys they're going to be so soft for the babies and then here is the cowl that she sent and let me see if i can read what it says rose this is a cowl to keep you warm when you go out or when you walk the dog you need to be warm too hope you like it <laughs> oh trust me i'm already wearing hats scarves winter coats everything when i walk the dog so thank you so much melanie i really appreciate it so thank you to everyone who donated not only in october but for all of 2023 i really do appreciate it and i actually just looked and i have 13 winners for october for thank you gifts so this is just our way of saying thank you for donating and most of these were actually donated by other people. So I am going to read off what the gift is. It's a thank you gift. And I'm going to read the first name and last initial and where the person is from that one. And uh, anyone who is a winner will need, and this is just for the month of October, because we've done thank you gifts uh, for every month this year that we've had um and those winners were already announced so this is just for the people who donated in october and you will only have one week to contact me because the holidays are coming up and i think it's pretty unfair to ask the people who are donating these gifts to wait weeks and weeks to send out um your your thank you gift so you will only have one week to send me an email uh in the email if you could please let me know exactly what you won and I, even if it is like a gift card or uh, some kind of electronic file, I will need your uh, full shipping address as well. So if you're new and you're not sure how this works, I have a notebook that I keep. And when packages come in, I just write down, like if I have 10 packages, it's number one. And then I open up the box, I write down the name, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And I use a random number generator. And when I get the number, I just highlight it and I put a gift next to it. So that that's how that works. <laughs> so um, I'm going to read off the 13 winners. You have until November 22nd to respond. If you respond after November 22nd, the prize is forfeited because I don't want to keep anyone else um, waiting. Okay, because most of these gifts are coming from other people. I hope you guys understand. Um, so before I talk about or tell you who the winners are, I, I just want to say um, thank you so much for everyone who helped donate items for wings this year. If you are on Facebook or Instagram and you follow me or you follow wings, you will have seen a post that they had uh, about their coat drive. And in the post, they did thank Rose Likes Crochet. And I responded and said it was our privilege and pleasure to help Wings. Um, so uh, if you are on either one of those social medias, please go and follow me, first of all, and follow Wings and give them some support. Um, they did have a picture of like the um, hats and scarves that were laid out on the table for people to take. So that was pretty exciting. Um, so, um, and again, before I talk about the winners, um, we're done for this year. So please do not send in any more donations for wings. Um, if you have other local charities that you donate to, my one suggestion is to call them or contact them before you donate, um, because some charities actually do have very specific items that they want 
probably not as specific as what Wings wanted, um, but please just don't send things in that aren't relevant because you think, well, they're a charity, they need it. Um, but it's actually more of a burden if you send something that they can't use because then they have to either dispose of it or find somewhere else to donate it to. So that's just my two cents about that. <laughs> um, I do volunteer at Wings every Saturday and I see this firsthand. So that's why I'm saying please um, be thoughtful about how you're donating and what you're donating and uh, for sure contact the place that you're going to donate before you send something that you're not sure you should send. Okay, let's get to the winners. <laughs> All right, so the first winner um, is for a mushroom spirit amigurumi pattern. And this was donated by Alyssa at Anaya's Toy Box. And she donated one every month this year. So the winner for that is Anna S. And she is from Minnesota. There is also a pocket elf amigurumi pattern. This is from Nova Gnome Creations. And the winner for that is Diane M. From Tennessee. I have a yarn and goodie box from Diane. Um, she's the one that donated all those shawl kits earlier and she realized she didn't have any more so she wanted to donate a yarn and goodie box. <laughs> so the winner for the and thank you so much Diane. The winner for that is Terry H from Maryland. And then we have the fabulous Zelda NRJ3, that is Z, and she is the original designer creator of the Lovey pattern. And because they were requesting Loveys in October, she wanted to donate two $30 Amazon gift cards. So the first winner for one of the $30 Amazon gift cards from Z, who by the way, will all, all the content creators that I talk about will be linked down below in the description box. Um, the first winner for one of the gift cards is Catherine V, like Victor, from New Jersey. And the second one is Janet S from Texas. So the um, you, even though you guys are getting a gift card from Z, everyone still needs to send me an email with what you want and your shipping address. So um, do that. Okay, then I have uh, one of the uh, good friends of the channel. Her name is Linda and she's in Florida. And I think she donated these last year too. She has these two beautiful Christmas ornaments. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to insert a picture here, but if I do, you'll see it. Um, and I have, she has two of those that she wanted to give away. They're like collector ornaments. Um, and it's been a while since she sent me the email, so I don't remember. Um, I'll see if I can insert a picture of it. So the two winners for the ornaments from Linda are Rose, one of the uh, amazing, amazing people who donate regularly to Wings. She's in Arizona. And Terry D from Illinois. So you guys both won an ornament from Linda. The set of four stitch markers was gifted to you guys from Edith in Minnesota. They're actually stitch markers from my Etsy shop. Um, and the winner for the last set of four stitch markers is Lisa M from Virginia. And then we have a bag from Anonymous Amy. She has an Etsy shop. So I will link her Etsy shop down below. The winner is Michelle C from Wisconsin. We have a mystery box of yarn from Claire. Hi, Claire. And the winner of that mystery box is Ann F. I'm sorry, Ann L from Florida. We also have a mystery box of yarn from Barb. And the winner of that box of yarn is Vicki D from Ohio. And then one of my good friends on Instagram, her name is Mish, Dr. Mish. And I'll link her Instagram down below if I can figure out how to do that. She has two yarn surprise boxes. She says they're not going to be that big, um, but she wanted to donate something for the thank you gifts also. So one of the winners for one box is our girl Samantha D from Pennsylvania, also known as Amethyst Craftworks. And the other one is Barbara S., She's got a super long name, <laughs> last name. You know who you are, Barbara. And she is from Georgia. So I need all 13 of you to hopefully watch this video before November 15th. 
no, today is November 15th, November 22nd. <laughs> you have seven days to send me an email. Otherwise, I'm sorry, we're just going to call it quits there. So um, thanks again to everyone who donated for the entire year. I really do appreciate it. I think we had a phenomenal year this year for donations. And um, I hope you guys will still come back here and watch my yarn yakking videos because I will have them. <laughs> There just won't be any more Wings updates. And we'll see what they say for next year. Um, usually it takes her until January or February to figure out um, what she would like for us. Um, if they're still going to accept donations from us, which I'm pretty sure they will. So that is all I have. Um, I usually tell you guys to leave a positive comment. And please feel free to leave a positive comment down below. Um, and as always, you can email me at roselikescrochet at gmail.com if you have any questions. All right, guys, that is all I have for Wings for 2023. We will talk to you later. Bye.